Hey, what's up, guys? I'm KBHD here. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm KBHD here. Hey, what is up, guys? I'm KBHD here. MKBHD, one of the top YouTube tech reviewers, recently released a wallpaper app called Panels. 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 And people went nuts in a negative way. See, the app had some nice wallpapers, but it had a subscription model of £35 per year, which is roughly $45. And if you don't want to pay, you had to watch ads. I mean, come on. Who pays for a wallpaper? But we're financially bleeding to death. Apart from outrageous pricing, the design of the app was just terrible. So me being me, I just couldn't stand it. So I got to work. To review the Panels app, first I downloaded it. After the download, I ran the app, signed up, everything was going normal until I got here. This is where I'm supposed to pick 5 artists that I like to set up my home feed. Now, that would be really simple if I knew any of these artists. There is no name of the artist and I can barely see their pictures. And lack of this information is just gonna put off a new user. So, I fixed it. In the new design, I introduced the logo and a minimal and more elegant font type and sizes. It makes it more pretty and I used more contrasty background to make it more pop. Next, instead of selecting an artist from the get-go, I redesigned it to make a mood selection, which makes it more user-friendly and personalized. So you make the selection and click next and then it asks you about the artist. I designed the cards to clearly show the pictures of the artist, their names and who they are, just to give a more context for the user. And this step is skippable if you don't know any of these artists. Now, going back to the original design, when you select five artists and after this weird animation, it takes you to explore page. Wait, what? Where are my personalized suggestions? So we have three main pages, home page. This is where I'll see my suggestions, liked and purchased. This is just too crazy. But we will come back to this later. Next, we have the explore page where we basically look up new wallpapers, but where is the search option? Oh, that's right. It's right in the middle wearing Harry's invisibility cloak. Anyways, if I click search, this pops out the search and filter option. And if I search for something, it just overrides the search. It just doesn't make any sense. So there is clearly a lot of room for improvement. So I did it. In the new design, when we make mood and artist selection, we land on the home page. And on the home page, I can see all my personalized suggestions, exactly how it's supposed to be. I also categorize the suggestions into more useful sections. For example, recommended for you, recently watched, from your favorite artist. And I even added a section for trending artists, which I don't see in the original design. You can further dive into these sections by clicking view all and explore all the wallpapers in them. It just makes more sense and presents the wallpaper in more consumable chunks. And on top of the home page, I added a big wide search box. And if you click it, it takes you to a search page, which shows you the history and everything. Here you search for something, for example, red, and it gives you search results. And now you can filter these results out. For example, if I select abstract in the filters, it's going to filter out red abstract wallpapers for me. Going back to the original design, let's try to download a wallpaper. So let's choose one. I like this one. And if I hit get wallpaper, it asks me for three options. Subscribe or watch ad for full resolution or just download the standard quality. So let's hit download. Oh, that's it. It just downloaded. It didn't ask me if I wanted to set it as home page or lock screen wallpaper. And again, why the hell these icons are not consistent? So I cleaned it up. In the new design, if you chose a wallpaper, this pops up. And this is much more cleaner. I moved the categories on top here to declutter the design. I added the light count, which is completely missing in the original design, and used consistent icons all around. In the artist section, I added the social media handles so that the user can directly check those profiles out. And for the download section, I placed two buttons, one for the free standard version and other for the full resolution version. If I hit the free standard version, it gives me option to either download or set as wallpaper. And if I choose full resolution, it gives me both option to either subscribe or watch the ad. Clean, right? Now, in the old design, if I click the artist and go to the artist page, it just doesn't give me any information about the artist. It just gives me the name and their social media handles. So in the new design, I added an option for bio to give a bit more detail about the artist and option to follow them, which is again missing in the original design. And actually, I also redesigned this ugly tab to something more elegant. Now, for the liked and purchased wallpapers that were originally in the home page, I moved it into a separate page called library, and I polished the design to make it more professional and consistent. Finally, I cleaned up the account page by distributing different settings into sections. Plus, I think this preference setting is missing in the original design, 
which is kind of strange. What if I wanted to change any artist I like? Anyways, speaking of additional features, maybe this option to publish your own wallpapers could be a great feature for the app in the future. But for now, let's review the redesign. Say hello to panels, personalized wallpaper app made by MKBHD just for you, filled with amazing artworks, carefully designed by some of your favorite artists. Get personalized suggestions based on your vibes or look up for exact wallpapers with advanced search filters like colors and moods. Fancy a wallpaper? Get it, set it, boom. Give your phone a new look. So that was it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of the redesign in the comment section. Maybe someone should reach out to MKBHD about this redesign. Who knows, he might be interested. Hey Marcus, if you're interested, please feel free to reach out. Let's wrap this video up. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you did. See you in the next one.